Hello chicas, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I know I've been gone for quite some time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this design and let's begin. This one is the Grape Nude by Wapitsima. It's from their Rock collection. I will have listed down below where you can purchase this collection. It's really, really pretty. So then we're also going to be using this Rose Gold Leaf by Accents, which I freaking love, you guys. Um, I have two. I have the Gold and I have the Rose Gold Leaf. But to, to be honest, I prefer working, well, I prefer using the Rose Gold Leaf because who doesn't love a beautiful Rose Gold? That is my favorite, you guys. Like I said, I also have the Gold and it's really, really pretty. But I prefer the Rose Gold. I freaking love Rose Gold. It's just... It, I don't know. I just think it's it's really really pretty to to use on the nails. You know, it's very to me it's very elegant. But oh well. I will have their information where I purchased these. They were very inexpensive. They were about ten or eleven bucks each, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, or around there. But again, I will have them listed down in the description box for whoever's interested. Um, so yeah. Right here, I'm just applying this beautiful, like, rosy, tone, nudey. I do not know how to describe colors, you guys. I'm terrible at that. But you can see <laughs> what color this is. It's really pretty. Um, and they also asked me to do a shorter version, well, a, a shorter, you know, design. So I decided to go with this today. I Like I've told you guys before, I do not like working with short nails. Um, they're, they're harder to work with in my opinion. Um, if you don't, if you're not careful with how much product you're applying onto the nail, your nails will come out a little stubby, you know, a little, a little more fatter than what they're supposed to be. So you really have to, <coughs> excuse me. You really have to be watching out uh, how much product you're, you're putting on your nails because you don't want them to look fat and they will look kind of funky so you don't want that you guys just just watch out on that part so um, all the nails are gonna go in this pinky color except for the index finger on the index finger I'm just applying just clear because on that finger we're gonna be doing the rose gold leaf and it's a gel, so we do have to cure that in the lamp. <clears throat> and then um, another reason why I don't like uh, short nails is because my fingers are short and stubby. And if I wear shorter nails, you guys, my fingers lo look, or yeah, well, my fingers look worse. My fingers look more stubbier and more, you know, shorter. So that's one of the reasons why I don't. I don't wear short nails I, I don't like it but you know it's just personal preference um, I just decided to to bring you to bring you a, a shorter design because they did ask me to do a short design since all my designs are super long you guys I I had never noticed that but um, I do usually tell you that my designs are longer because I want the design to look so you guys can actually see the design to it, you know, what I put in it, um, the color to it. Um, I hope that I, I hope I'm making sense, but um, I, I do decide to make my my nails longer on the videos for this purpose because I want you guys to actually really see what design I'm doing and how it actually looks, you know. So I went ahead and applied my rose gold leaf. I did three coats of that and you saw that I cured in between for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my gels. I'm going to be using the NSI one. This is the shiny one for the index finger and the rest are going to be matte. I really wanted these nails to be matte you guys. I don't know why. I guess I felt like it today. <laughs> but I'm using the Nail Supply Glamour matte top coat and then I applied it all over the nails. And I'm doing this beforehand because we're going to be adding some 3D, 3D art and then some crystals. So, um, <clears throat> you want to do this before doing, you know, the 3D or adding the crystals. 
because um it will ruin the shine to the crystals and stuff i mean not the the 3d it's it's matte you know either way so it doesn't really matter but i did add some crystals on top too so i don't want my crystals to get ruined because of the matte top coat so i decided to go beforehand with the top coat and then i cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds and when once it comes out you guys i'm gonna be doing like a flower here just a super simple flower i do about three petals and then right on top i'm gonna be doing another one super simple i mean really really simple you guys and then i did like the leaves what i did here is that i dipped my brush in the into the white acrylic because I'm, I'm i am using white acrylic and then i went ahead and dipped it I dipped it first in the white acrylic and then I went ahead and dipped it into the pink acrylic and then I placed the bead down on the nail and that's when I start molding it. Now, um, I was trying to work harder because, I don't know, it was drying on me super fast. Uh, white tends to, to dry super fast so I was working really fast here, you guys. So, yeah. Um, and it's good too sometimes because... Uh, the bead doesn't spread so it's 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 better to me it's better I work I work better when the acrylic dries faster because that way I could just go in with my brush and mold it however I want to and I don't have to wait you know if I wait like if the acrylic is taking longer to to dry you're gonna make a mess if you go right into it you have to wait until the bead you know gets that like I guess like play-doh consistency when it's starting to get matte that's when you know that you're supposed to go in with your brush and mold it so yeah i'm just gonna be doing some like little leaves on the side um right now that i'm looking at it you guys i don't think i should have added the crystals on top i think i should have just left it as is but i don't know why i added the crystals i mean it, it looked nice but I think it was way too much already since the nails are shorter. So I guess, you know, I added the crystals on there. But you don't have to, like like I've said before, you add what you want to add. You make it the length you want to make it. It's up to you guys. Make this design your own. So to add the crystals, I'm going to be using the Bling Adhesive by Zuline. And I'm going to be applying the crystals right here, like on the cuticle area. On the middle finger and I'm gonna be adding some on the ring finger and then on the pinky and the thumb I'm gonna be adding one crystal on each of the nails um, <clears throat> this resin is really good you guys I really do I truly stand by it because I've had clients who you know want crystals and stuff and when they come in for the refill or to remove their nails to get their nails removed I'm sorry um, they still have their crystals on so I really do stand by it um, and it's very inexpensive as well um, I will have the information from Zulai's website where you can purchase this and um, it's amazing I, I do like it <clears throat> you also have to spray the activator from the secret um, I don't have that one anymore I ran out but I do have one that it's called hurry up nail glue dryer and um it's been working really good you guys it's a spray you know it's literally a spray um it's been working really good it does you know dry the glue faster so i've been liking it but if you have the mia secret one as well it, it i mean it's it's really good as as well so it's up to you whatever you want to use so yeah you guys um we've come to the end of the design and i really hope you guys enjoy it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe <clears throat> i'll see you guys on our next one um hope you guys enjoy it take care stay safe god bless bye bye